Hey guys, I'm Greg Builds, and today I'll show you this wooden modern house build. This house has four floors in total, with three floors above ground and a full size basement down below. Now this house has a side entrance with a deck up above that, as well as a back deck and a three story balcony tower in the front. Now this build is broken down into eight steps and without further ado, let's start the build. Now here's a complete list of the materials we need to build this house. Also, this entire build project requires a 17 block by 14 block area spacing, and I mark my area with coarse dirt blocks, and you could do the same, and that way we'll know how big the layout is before we start the build. Step 1. First let's make the basement, and we'll need 298 stone blocks. To start, move back 3 spaces, then move over 1 space, and we could dig down 3 blocks. And we can make this row a total of 13 blocks wide. Then let's make the side a total of 10 blocks wide. Then let's clear the blocks in the center and we can continue clearing until it's three blocks deep in total. Then let's add in stone blocks for the bottom. And we can add stone walls along the sides and extend these stone walls up two blocks above the ground level. Step 2. Next let's install the first floor and staircase. Only 21 stone blocks, 4 stone stairs, 2 oak doors, 312 oak planks, 52 glass panes, and 4 glass blocks. To start, let's remove 2 blocks, then leave a stone block, then remove 2 more, and we could continue this pattern, removing 2 blocks and then leaving a block of space. And these will be for basement windows. And we could do this all the way around the house. Next, let's add stairs to the side of the house and we can extend up for two rows. Then let's add blocks to the back, and we can extend over for four blocks behind the stairs. Then let's add blocks underneath. And then once completed with the stairway, we can fill in the top with oak planks. Now once completed with the floor, we can add in 4 tall oak columns in each corner. Then let's connect each of the columns with the 4th block up, and we can fill in the center with oak planks as well. Then let's add 4 extra oak planks, and that will make 5 oak planks in total. Then let's add 2 glass blocks, a door, and 2 more glass blocks. And then make a fill in with oak planks, as well as 2 glass panes on each side for a small window.
Then for the side wall, we can add in oak planks, as well as a door and more windows. And we can fill in the back of the house with oak planks. And we'll have one small window on either side of the wall. Step 3. Next let's install the second floor walls and staircase. We'll need 20 glass panes, 4 glass blocks, 3 oak doors, 8 oak stairs, and 226 oak planks. To start, let's add in a staircase, and this staircase will lead down into the basement. And we can add lanterns down here as well, and this will help brighten up the interior. But again, I'll leave this up to you and how many lanterns you would like for your house. Then on top of the staircase, we can add another staircase that leads up to the second floor. Now up on the second floor, we can add in four tall oak columns in each corner. And we can add a crossbeam at the fourth block up, and that'll connect them all the way around. And then we can fill in the center with more oak planks as well. Then from here, we can add in a similar wall pattern to the floor below it. And we can start with a small window on the side, a door in the middle, and another window on the other side. Then for the side of the house, we can add in oak planks, and we can add in doors up here as well. And this door will lead out to a deck, and we'll extend that out later on. And then we can continue adding in oak planks and glass panes for the other two side walls as well. Step 4. Next up is the third floor walls, and for this we'll need 61 oak planks, 4 oak stairs, 1 oak door, 4 glass blocks, and 3 glass panes. We can start by adding in a staircase up on the second floor, and this will lead to the third floor. Then up here we can move over a space, then place a block. Then make a column of 2, then a column of 3, then a column of 4 after that, and a column of 5. And then we can repeat on the other side. Then we can add in a door and glass blocks in the middle, as this will lead out to an upper deck later on. And we can repeat the same wall pattern for the back side of the house as well.
Step 5. Next let's add in the side and back deck. We'll need 40 spruce slabs, 1 oak door, 21 glass panes, 4 glass blocks, 3 stone blocks, and 21 cobblestone wall sections. Next let's move over a space, then extend out 3 slabs. Then we can continue across to the other side. Then let's add slabs underneath, as well as a glass railing along the top. Then we can add in cobblestone wall sections. Then for the back wall, we can add a deck up here. And we can start by placing a door and glass blocks in the center of the wall. Then let's add spruce slabs, as well as glass panes. And these glass panes will be for a railing. And then we can add cobblestone wall sections for support columns, with a stone block on the bottom. Step 6. Next let's add in the front decks. Only 22 spruce planks, 48 spruce slabs, and 21 glass panes. To start, let's add spruce planks to the second stone block over. Then let's make the column 11 blocks tall. Then let's repeat at the second block over from the other side, and make this column 11 blocks tall as well. Then we can add in spruce slabs and glass panes. And then we can add in spruce slabs just below the doors. And we can add in glass panes for a safety railing as well. And then we can continue adding in more spruce slabs and glass panes under each doorway. Step 7. Next let's add in the roof. For this step, we'll need 192 stone stairs and 12 stone blocks. To start, let's add in stone stairs to the roof. And don't forget to add in upside down stairs along the front and back overhangs as well. As this will help add detail to the roof line. Then we can fill in the center. And we can repeat for the other side, filling in with more stone stairs along with the upside down stairs along the front and back overhangs. And then we could switch over to stone blocks and fill in the center ridge line along the top of the roof. Step 8. Lastly is the interior, and I'll leave this completely up to you. However, I'll quickly show you a walkthrough of how I did mine.
Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build, or would like to leave some feedback, I would love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe, because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys! Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.